Hi folks, welcome back. This is Kweko. I am a pharmacist. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the medication to pyramate. We'll be taking a look at what it is, how it should be taken. We'll take a look at some side effects, as well as some seven key precautions that I believe everybody taking to pyramate should be aware of. And as always, this review is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice from your physician. So what is topiramate? Well, topiramate belongs to a class of medications we call anticonvulsants, and it works primarily by decreasing abnormal excitement in the brain. It is marketed under various brand names, including Topamax, Trucandy, and Cudexy. With respect to uses, topiramate is used either alone or in combination with other medications to treat certain types of seizures. Topiramate is also used with other medications to manage a condition called lennox gastaut syndrome, which is a disorder that is characterized by seizures and developmental delays. Topiramate may also be used as a prophylactic or to prevent migraines. Uh, in, the, in that use, it is given not to treat the migraine, so if you have an active migraine, topiramate may not help, but it is given to be taken on a continuous basis before the migraine occurs or to prevent the migraine from occurring in the first place. There are some other non-FDA approved or off-label uses as well, and this include its use in the treatment of alcoholism, eating disorders, as well as to manage obesity or weight loss, where it is used either alone or in combination with other medications. Typical example is fentanyl. Now, how to take topiramate? Well, topiramate comes as a tablet, a sprinkle capsule, which is a capsule that contains small beads of medication that can be sprinkled on food and an extended release capsule, all to be taken by mouth. The tablets and the sprinkle capsules are usually taken with or without food once or twice a day. The extended release capsules are usually taken with or without food once a day. It's worth noting that topiramate tablets have a bitter taste, so it is advisable to swallow them whole. Broken topiramate tablets may also lose its effectiveness, another reason why it is important to swallow the tablets whole. The Cudexy brand may be swallowed whole or opened and poured over soft food, something like maybe applesauce. However, the Trocandy brand should be swallowed whole. It should not be split, you should not chew it, or it should not be sprinkled on food. Now on to dosing. Now the dosing will depend on the condition being treated as well as the dosage form. That is whether you are taking the tablet, the sprinkle capsule, or the extended release tablet. It may range anywhere between 25 milligrams and 400 milligrams. And it is not unusual to see people started on the 25 milligrams and then gradually titrating upwards up to about 400 milligrams per day usually at one to two weeks intervals as the medication is tolerated. Now onto some side effects. Topiramate is generally well tolerated by most people, but however, it is not devoid of side effects like any other medication. Some of the common ones include flushing, which is a redness of the skin, typically over the cheeks or neck due to widening of the blood vessels or the capillaries underneath the skin. Loss of appetite, weight loss, confusion, dizziness, memory impairment, and reduced concentration span have all been reported. There's also been reported incidences of somnolence, that is the strong desire to go to sleep or feeling nervous, some mood disorders, uh, fatigue, as well as fever have all been reported with people taking to pyramid. Uh, with respect to the fever, I'll touch a little bit more when I talk about the precautions. With respect to the seven precautions that I talked about, the first one is to be cautious if you have any kind of eye problems, specifically, uh, acute myopia and angle closure glaucoma. Now, acute myopia is sometimes what we refer to as nearsightedness or the ability to see close objects more clearly than distant objects. So if you have a history of myopia or glaucoma, it will not be a bad idea to have that discussion with your doctor before you start taking to pyramid. The second precaution is that to pyramid has been associated in very rare instances with suicidal behavior and ideation. You know, a lot of these anti-epileptic drugs and sometimes some antidepressants have this risk. So it's definitely a good idea, at least when you start taking it, monitor yourself. If it's your child taking it, make sure everything is okay with the child. What I also advise sometimes is that when you start taking medications like this, let family and friends know that you've started something new so that if they notice anything unusual, they'll be more likely to observe it and offer you any help that you need at that point. The third precaution is that to pyramid should not be discontinued abruptly. Usually if you have to go of it, you'll be tapered or you'll be weaned off it gradually. Discontinuing to pyramid abruptly may increase the chance that you have a seizure or you develop a seizure. To pyramid has also been associated with an increased risk of developing kidney stones. So if you have a history of kidney stones, you need to take that into account before you start to pyramid. Good idea is to 
increase your fluid intake and definitely discuss with the doctor before you even start on onto pyramid. And this is also interestingly very common in people on a ketogenic diet. So if you're on a keto diet and you're taking to pyramid with a history of kidney stones, that generally is not a good combination. Another interesting precaution is that to pyramid has been associated with decreased sweating. So it, even though it's rare, it can happen. And when that happens, it makes the body's temperature go up or it results in an elevation in the body temperature. This is rare, but it can be serious in some instances. So that is something also to be wary of as you take your topiramate. The set precaution is to avoid alcohol while you take topiramate for two reasons. Number one, alcohol affects the absorption. It causes absorption issues with topiramate. And also topiramate taking with alcohol causes what we call a CNS depression, where your central nervous system, which is the part of your brain controlling certain critical aspects of your day-to-day -day activity or day-to-day -day life is affected. So it results in drowsiness, slurred speech, for some people, shortness of breath, or even difficulty breathing. And then number seven, do well to report any rash that you observe while you take topiramate. Topiramate has been associated with some rashes that can be dangerous. So anytime you take topiramate and you develop a rash, do well to discuss with your doctor. So high level overview of topiramate. Hope you found some value in it. Thank you so much for staying through. I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you so much.